because if I had that shisha, even if it had a real door on it, which Joe would have put a real door, I don't want to put my computer over there. Scrap this shisha. Mm hmm. Scrap well, it's easy to scrap thing when you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. <laughs> As usual, Joe started well before me. My goodness, Joe, why? I put my phone between the both of us right here. Don't let your booty dial nobody. Yeah, well, it's a boy of us start together. <laughs> Stupid. So this is the tortilla holder thing and I heated up the tortilla on the comal because I don't like it in the microwave. These tortillas are so small and they're like a hundred calories each. Yep. I think these ones are 80. All right. Oh, you, you have the wrong one, baby. You have the wrong one. I don't want no leg. Mm -hmm. okay. And you already diving in people dinner. Oh my goodness. You put it over here. I didn't know where you were going to sit. <laughs> you put pepper in this? <laughs> you put pepper in this? <laughs> You sure? I uh, sure. Okay, because I saw him grab the pepper no, just now. I just had a little extra food that time. I think, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I don't like chicken leg, I don't like thigh. So don't invite me to your backyard barbecue, that's what you're cooking. <laughs> so it has ground beef. I think this dish authentically is made with ground pork. You guys, we really need to get some bigger soup bowls for the see-through bowls because these are so tiny. I mean, tiny in the way of coming up this way. I want them to be wider, you know? Anyway, baby. I'm good, I'm good. Mm. Mm hmm. It's so, good, people, it's good. Remember, mm -hmm. check the link below to see where to pick it up. The, um, the black Ricardo. Um, if the black Ricardo is done right, it's supposed to have salt in there already and spice, right? So don't add that stuff to the last when you're making the soup. You guys saw from the, I think I'm going to put up that video first. Saw so how, well, Joe had seasoned the chicken before I started doing the video. But all he did was wash it off with vinegar, the still white vinegar, of course. And then he um, seasoned with salt, the pepper, and the, did you use the powder ricotta? Mm -hmm. The powder ricotta. The red one, the red one. I can't tell you how many people hit me up and say, send me your dad website, phone number, yada, yada. I don't want to say that my dad retired because he didn't retire. He moved to Belize and he's doing a different business, but he's not doing the business here. So that's why I can't um, send you guys anywhere. To sell this on Amazon. I don't know if they're gonna make it the way but these people make it. Uncle Raja normally send for me, but because of the lockdown, they can't do nothing. Mm. This, you know what? This dish is rich. Why? It uses three meats: mm -hmm. chicken, ground beef, or ground pork. An uh, egg. That's a lot of meat. I only get two meat. Hmm? I only get two meat. You don't have more. I, I get ground beef. I get chicken. I ain't get no egg. You didn't get the egg? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. You ate that egg. He wolfed that egg down. Mm -mm. I was going to run over there. I guess if you're doing like Atkins, this would go good for you. See? I can't get in here to get my food, man. We had a beautiful white bowl Joe's one was in. Mm -mm. I have another camera down here catching the food. Let's, let's, let's make sure nothing is blocking the way, baby. Get these lids out the way. So this is, a, this is my command center. This is where I'm running my computer from when I do my live events. I take my mukbangs here. I guess I don't need that she shed again, Joe. <laughs> mm -mm. Because if I had that shisha, even if it had a real door on it, which Joe would have put a real door, I don't want to put my computer over there. Mm -hmm. Scrap this, this shisha. Mm -hmm. 
scrap this Well, shit. it's easy to scrap things when you don't have money. <laughs> anyway, remember to pick up the book. And you may have seen I dropped it in earlier about my sponsor, Satura. Go ahead and help Satura. The links are below if you want to get good products for your skin and your hair. The winter coming, you guys know you're going to need that stuff. And I keep saying thanks for picking up the book, but it's books. You guys are buying books. Some of you are buying one of each. Some of you are buying just the one with the Belizean recipe. Some of you are buying the new one with all the other recipes. All right, I'm working on book number three. But I don't know what all going to be in that. First, I wanted it to just be cakes. But I think I'm going to run out of cake recipes if I want just cake. Because you need at least 80 recipes to make a good a good book. Yeah, put something in there. Mm hmm But that book won't be ready until um, Halloween. <laughs> Valentine's. Forget I mentioned it. No. When I'm eating soup, like if it's escabeche or black bina, this chimole, I like the bony part out of the chicken. Joe, what's going on with the fly bush? The what? <laughs> the fly bush. I don't know. Are the flies gone? I think a little bit still in there. Joe keep hosing them down. I don't, I don't know if that works. Somebody say, put some cayenne pepper in a spray bottle of water and spray. In what kind of water? Just spray a bottle with water. I'm like, my good cayenne pepper? Mm -hmm. That's always scarce when you go to the store? I don't think so. Joe went to there for cayenne pepper and never have none. No, no. They're out. Did you feed a dog? Nope. I'm gonna get you, Joe. You just see, you see anything? I hear the dog chewing the bone. You hear, but you don't see no action. Well, today is the 24th of October. It's Saturday. I don't know when you're gonna see this. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So today, I think it's like 10 days before election day. I stopped saying before the election because people have been voting. We voted already. We want our first people to vote. Yeah, we, uh, we, we did that. Um, I don't know if it's considered early voting, but we voted by mail. I've been voting by mail since my mom died 2016 because on the, the moment my mom was taking her last breath, I was voting in the primaries. We took it to the post office. Mm-hmm. No drop it in on no boxes. They're burning the boxes up. And we watched them in the post office and make sure. And it got there the next day because we tracked it and they said it will be counted. No. I live in California where it doesn't matter. Because California has never gone red. You know? But <clears throat> I started voting in 2010 because I didn't become a citizen until 28. 2008. And elections were like November 3rd or 4th. And I didn't, I didn't get sworn in until the 21st of November. So I couldn't vote then. So I voted in, what do you call that, the midterms, I guess? And I take all of it very seriously. Down to who we put on the city council over here, I take that seriously in my city. I see a lot of big black YouTubers. And they're telling their followers stuff like, don't vote for none of them. None of them care about you, blah, blah, blah. These, don't listen to these YouTubers. They make a lot of money. They make anywhere from ten to forty thousand dollars a month where they could hire a lawyer and retainer for ten K a month. Yeah. If they're making forty thousand they can hire a lawyer for a lawyer for ten K a month when they're doing like salacious type thing when they're uh, breaking exclusive news about celebrities and stuff, they might get sued, right? Don't listen to them. They're making money. Your vote matters, alright? Don't let nobody intimidate you from voting. That's the only power we have is to vote. Mm-hmm. We don't vote then. Don't vote for no third party. They're not going to win. That's the same thing the mother in law to the pastor told the pastor when he used to go to church. When he says, um, if you can't hold the nose and vote for. What happened? Oh, it went off. If you can't hold the nose and vote for Frump, because he didn't like Hillary, 
then vote for Jesus Christ. So His mother law said, Why would you let them spoil their vote? That their ancestors bled to give them the right to do, right? And he goes, Anything you do for Jesus, Jesus will fix it. Jesus said, Don't be an idiot. He uses men to do things on the earth, so you just can't sit back and rock in a cha in a rocking chair and sing Kumbaya, my Lord, come by here. And expect he's gonna fix it. If God wanted you to come here, you think he's gonna come out of heaven and comb it for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is each and of us, each and of us. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us a free will. Free will. We the one doing the stuff, you know. Now you could see we could do whatever we want to do. Don't care. We could do whatever we want to well, do. Well, unless that? you put a government above you that tell you you can't do what you want want to do. And understand why God will give me free will, and I'm gonna put somebody above me that's gonna tell me what I can and can't do, or tell my neighbor what they can and can't do. As long as it's not hurting somebody else, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But you see, God not gonna. Take control. Mm -hmm. He could, but he's not gonna do it mm -hmm. because he already gave us control. He yeah. only take control when you give it back to him. Right. When you say, I don't want to mess and with he, this guy. He's not gonna it. lie. He's not gonna say, Well, I give it to you. I'll take it back. Mm -hmm. No. What is scripture say? He's not the son of man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He's not something that he should repent. I forget what it is. And when we say that, people don't like to hear that, but it's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We in control of ourselves. The All churches right. I used to go to, when I said that, and when I prayed that we're not in control, I mean God's not in control, oh, they got mad. Mm -hmm. But it's strong. God's not in control. Not that he can't. Not that he can't like Joe said. But he's not going to take that back from us unless we go to him and say, here, control this, please fix this for me. Mm hmm. I have a friend named Nisa. Um, I told her I've been saying this thing for a good two months now, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. I said, God, I present myself as the one righteous person left in America that will cause you to turn your face back to this beautiful land and save us because, damn, we need saving. We do. I mean, I know that Joe is a righteous person. But I'm not speaking for Joe, I'm speaking for me. Because I know if I'm going to do the evil or not, right? So I told Nisa I was doing that. So Nisa texts me one day and she goes, um, she's like in her early 70s and she says, Barbara, I've been saying the thing you've been saying. And she, she texted this, she goes, God, I present myself as the one righteous person in all of America that will cause you to turn your face towards this beautiful land again. And then she, she's telling me the story. So she said, because um, I want God to turn her face towards this land. So she said, God's a woman. <laughs> I loved it. I just loved it. People, a lot of people in America like call different country third world country. Mm -hmm. How quickly did America if become a third world country? If we don't get up and vote for the right party, mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen to us. Then we're going to know what hard It's time. already happening. Yeah. You're going to know what hard time all about. Then you're going to know what third world country life is all about. Yeah, mama would have said. Yeah, know how bad it grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we American got it good. We don't know nothing about our life. Do you all see Rudy Giuliani over there trying to do October surprises, right? And uh, he got the October surprise. Surprise! He was in that Borat movie. So they didn't have the picture all over Twitter? Mm -mm. The young lady, the actress is really 24, but presented herself in the movie as 15. And he didn't know how old she was. And he went to a hotel room with her. And next thing you know, he's on the bed, tucking his shirt in his pants and messing was, around with the front. He was just acting. He was acting. <laughs> Steve, he was Steve just Schmidt acting. says his career done. You ate all my grown people that is soup. No soup. No, I don't touch your grown people. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I put too much meat in my plate, I can't eat that, that breast, I'll put that back for like, I have some more soup and some more ground beef and, an, and another egg. I'm going to have one more serving then. You know what, I did serve three. You okay, baby? 
Mm-hmm. You okay? Mm-hmm. You're full? Yep. What all did you eat? You eat a, you eat a lot of tortilla? I said I eat half a year as I <laughs> done. <laughs> ah. That's good. It's, it's delicious. delicious. It's good. It's nice for a cold day. For the people that are watching that are American and wonder what it tastes like, a lot of American people like this dish. A lot of white American, a lot of my white American friends like this dish. Even though it's spicy, if you can stand a little bit of heat, you can tolerate this because it's not so unbearable mm. that it'll like itch the back of your throat. Taste it first though, you know, put it in and taste it first because I don't know what kind of heat you could stand. Mm hmm. Remember to put up, remember to pick up the book. Don't forget people. We got two books. The book. <laughs> Rice. What's the name of the book? You're fired. <laughs> F I R E D, you're fired. The, the, the pantry library. What is the first book name? Beans and Rice. Beans and Rice Volume 2, because remember, we are not buying the book from Amazon. Please don't come back and tell me that I'm a great fan of your show. I watch you all the time. I watch all the videos to the end, and then but I bought a book from Amazon because I'm going to be mad at you. I'm going to be mad at you if you Books, tell me that. The book at Amazon, we don't get paid. Yeah, the guy sells the book to Amazon. We get what the little girl get. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't get paid. Jesus. You know that time when they used to call Joe to work? They never called him Jose, they called him Jesus. I don't know why. We get what the duck get. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I filled out, because you have to use the people's um, interface. It's not an app. You have to use the people's interface. When you're doing a self-published book, you type it up in their interface if you're not going to let somebody um, format it for you, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy to use people's interface, so just type up the book, then you send it to them to get it um, printed or published, but I'm still the publisher, so I own all the rights, and then I click the radio button that says, yes, I want to do distribution with you, which means he's going to sell the book to Amazon and any place where books are sold online. Mm -hmm. and he's, wait, 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 wait. He's, right. let me tell you what the profit is, though. Whatever he sells me the book for... Right, mm -hmm. and whatever he the he pays to get the book made, because I think he has a printing press. I don't think he's gonna be in, in printing for, since he was in his twenties, and mm -hmm. now he's in his seventies. Mm -hmm. So he says he sends it out to somebody else, but I think he has a printing press. So let's say it costs him three dollars to print a book. It might be less, but he sells me back the book for nine dollars, right? So uh, he's he's gonna sell Amazon the book for like let's say somewhere between what he paid and what he sells it to me for, right? Because Amazon not going to pay a lot for that book. You know what I mean? So let's say he sells the book to Amazon for seven bucks. The profit should be split between the three and the seven bucks. So Amazon can sell it back for 20. Amazon makes the killing, of course. And he's making money because he's selling a lot to Amazon, to Barnes & Noble, all that stuff. And I did do a cease and desist on him. But that's all I did back in 2018 when I was getting ready for my gallbladder, gallbladder surgery. And I never followed up with any type of a lawsuit or whatever. I just said, you know what, let me just like abandon that, make my new book and move on because sometimes the stress will kill you. You know, so that's why I keep telling you I have a big enough platform, 300,000 followers between the two platforms. And I keep telling you guys, do not buy that first book. You can't tell me you're a fan of mine and you love me and you watch me all the time and you watch it all the way to the end and then you go and you buy that book because that's a slap in the face. And folks, that book you know? is... The pictures are black and white. Everything mm -hmm. is black and white and it's perfect bound. It's per yeah, I mean it is glued. It's, it's glued it's, together. It's, it's a crappy book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a crappy book. Because the one I was selling was the spiral bone with the colorful inserts. And even so, I didn't know how to do the pictures at the time. Pictures are kind of tiny. You know, because I didn't know you had to turn the camera profile to do the pictures, right? So these books are my new books through Morris Cookbooks. They don't distribute books. They only make books. And so I have no trouble with nobody stealing from me. I'm selling the books myself. I don't have my uh, website built. I own my domain, but I don't have the website built because my viewers have told me to sell it the way that I'm selling it so I can keep majority of the profit so that I can have a nest egg to turn over to buy more books again and never run out of books again. And then at some point I can build back my website. So if you want to buy the book, you can use Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal to PayPal, meaning you need my email. PayPal, that may mean you just click the link. You can send the money to my P.O. Box, check your money order. And all you have to do is tell me which one of the books you want to buy. And if it's one of each or if it's, you know, two of each, whatever. And then use 
the payment method and the, the shipping is below every it's below every one of my videos all right so for um one book we own we have media mail first class and priority i have the prices there for two books it goes from media to priority there's no first class or two books because of the weight and then it's all priority 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 if i see that you bought one book and you paid me the higher price i know you want it sent priority or you want it sent first class and that's how i send it all right i just go by what you pay me and if you're paying me too much, I'll ask you, why do you pay me so much? Because some people will say the rest of it is a donation to the show. And we greatly appreciate it because it goes into buying the food so we can make the next video. All right. So we're at 20 minutes. I'm trying to do these mukbangs at 23 minutes so that we can finish when this camera finishes. You have anything you wanted to say, baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said, mm -hmm, say something. I just want to remind them again, don't forget to pick up the books. And don't forget to check out. I only have one sponsor so far. It's the okay. kind of sponsorship where when you click the link and buy something, I'll get a commission. So I don't get paid if you don't buy anything. So because if you buy the book, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to eat. Jesus. <laughs> so folks. Joe, you know uh, you have a lot of fans. Say hi to you to your, your latest number one fan. Hello, people. Hey, Ste hey, Stephanie. Hey. Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Stephanie says she likes when you eat soup. Oh, wow. Because you eat soup like her. When you slurp it. <laughs> And she, she, she said, I ride you too hard. Yeah. Well, you my baby, though. You yeah. my boo. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You my boo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're in October. In two months, it'll be 34 years of marriage for me and Joe. And um, we've been together 36 years, is but it, married 34 years. Is it years. so long? It's been a long time. Mm. It's been a fun ride. Mm. We've gone through some ups and downs, not like in our relationship, but like, you know, when I miscarried that one baby and, you know, lost a few dogs and, you know, lost my mom, yeah. my grandparents, a couple of my brother. cousins. And Joe's been there to help me pick up the pieces each and every time. And then he lost a brother, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I, I think I had more losses than Joe. You look yeah, you're you blessed. You don't lost no sibling. And that's your mom. That's worse than a sibling. Yeah, I think, because you weren't close with that sibling. Well, that's true. Like, yeah? a, like anybody else. I mean, yeah, I think if you're close with the sibling, yeah. But to lose my mom was like, whew, pain. It still hurts. Four years later, it still hurts. Sometimes I just burst out crying for like a good minute, and then I grab myself back together. <laughs> But I think that's normal. It's going to end in a little while, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank I you, love people. you. I honestly love you. I'm singing? <laughs> My mama singing? Whenever I tell Joey Ma, is he wants to tell me back that your mom? Because no, I can't say it. See, I used Mom's to, when gone. she tell me my mama, I tell her it's your mama, but I can't do that no more. You know, Jada told you also the day your mama. Your mama is not here. I'm no like, more. you better pick one of them grandmothers <laughs> or great grandmothers on the next side of the family. You better not pick me, girl. <laughs> I love y'all. Au revoir. Bye bye, people. See you at the night of Mac Bang. Mac Bang. <laughs> at the night of Mac Bang. <laughs> muck Bang. I could say Muck Bang, but it's, it's better to say Muck Bang. <laughs> Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bear, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys! Won't you come and try this warm delight? This is the Bear Pantry Show.